In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys the five biggest dietary mistakes that people fall into when trying to heal their skin disease, eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, rosacea, sebderm. Avoiding these five pitfalls will make your eczema healing diet way easier. Stay tuned. What's up good people, welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart, I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. The first thing you wanna avoid doing is copying someone else's diet verbatim without checking in with your own biomarkers to see if the diet is actually working. So what a lot of people do is they see someone on Instagram or YouTube, like myself, who's healed their skin and they copy that person's diet verbatim, word for word, all the exact foods, and their body doesn't really heal or shift or change too much. A lot of times it's because that person's diet isn't right for the person who's trying it. We all individually have different trigger foods and a different gut biome based on our environment and our genetics, and we have to use a specific diet that's individualized for us to be able to do that. Um, that's what I go over in the three phases workbook. You can get that at holistichealthactivation.com. It's a step-by-step -step guide for healing your skin. And it's all about, and it's what this video is about, customization of your diet is the biggest key point. And the way that you do that is through checking out your body's biomarkers, its signals. Okay, number two, the second biggest mistake people make with their eczema healing diet is they just quit too soon. They do it for a month and they don't see any drastic changes with their skin and so they, they give up and go to the dermatologist and start taking drugs or they jump on some other diet and give it a try for a week or two. Your diet is gonna be something that's gonna take a while to figure out, so you gotta be patient. It's gonna probably take three to six months to start to get your diet in the right place and to be able to make the right adjustments based on your biomarkers to eat the right foods. So if after three months or after six months, your skin hasn't budged much, that's totally normal and that's totally okay. You can't push the panic button and just go trying other stuff. You gotta make really small adjustments and small refinements with your diet. Make sure you're journaling your food and your biomarkers and allow the data to guide the process. And number three, piggybacks off number two with your biomarkers. As long as your diet is producing good results with your biomarkers, your skin will slowly follow those. But here's the key, is you gotta be consistent with your biomarkers improving for long enough for the skin to catch up because the skin does lag quite a bit. If your biomarkers heal, your skin will also heal. It's that simple. Hey look, it's Jeff Green, famous artist. Welcome to the show. Skin health advice, go. All right, lay in the sun, six hours on your back, eat chicken wings, and then hang out with friends and go in jacuzzi for two hours and take ketamine. <laughs> do you have $500 I can borrow? I do not have no $500. I do not. <laughs> Mistake number four is you're eating healthy, but you have absolutely no clue what your macros are. And what macros are, for those of you who don't know, is the amount of calories that you eat each day plus the percentage of fat, carbohydrates, and protein of your total calories. Knowing your macros is ultra important because if you have the wrong macros, it could lead to dysbiosis. If you're more plant-based or higher with the carbs, you need to keep your macros, your fat macros, at 20% or below. Now, on the other hand, if you're someone who's focused on high fat, more of the protein and fat-based dieting, primal, paleo, keto, you gotta keep your grams of carbs at 100 or less. So knowing your carbohydrate intake, knowing your fat intake, knowing how much protein you're intaking, and knowing your overall calories is important. You gotta get enough calories, but not too many. You can't undereat or overeat when you're healing your body with diet. 
um, and your macros have to be on point or it could lead to dysbiosis. And so even if you're eating the right foods, but in the wrong amounts, you could mess everything up. If you take nothing away from this video at all, but you do remember this with your diet and you stick to it long enough, you most likely will heal. Don't over complicate things too much. Basically, if it grows in the ground, flies in the air, swims in the ocean, runs on the earth, or has parents, besides humans, you can eat it. Skip the processed stuff, skip the packaged stuff, eat whole foods, eat real food, and make all of your food at home, and you will be good to go with that simple trick. Just don't overcomplicate things. The more minimal, the more simple, the better. Okay, quick review, so don't copy someone else's diet plan. You can use it for inspiration, but don't copy it verbatim because it might not work for you. Number two, don't give up too early. This thing takes time. Be patient. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Number three, your biomarkers. Listen to them. They will tell you if your body is healing or not. Number four, understand your macros and your calorie intake. Know them and keep them where they need to be. And number five, don't make things too complicated. Keep it simple. Eat real food and live your life. All right, good people, that's gonna do it for me today. Remember to leave your comments and questions down below. For those of you looking to get a hold of me to become one of my skin health clients, there's a link in the description box for a free consultation. That same link will take you to holistichealthactivation.com where you can get the three phases workbook, which is the step-by-step -step guide for naturally healing the skin. You can find me on Instagram as Stuart Rob Stewart. Linked below also is Skinessa, which is my favorite probiotic. I take it every day. It's a probiotic made for skin health. It's awesome, it works great. Link in the description box. Remember to subscribe, remember to share, remember to hit that notification bell. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace, much love.